What's the matter? Just hay fever. I don't want to hear the Michael Milligan Children's Home welcome speech. Not the way you say it, your pants. Oh, hang on. Oh, my goodness. Mike, someone's put their stuff in my room. Look, uh, Tracy, you've been gone for three months. We thought you left us for good this time. We thought you ate. <laughs> Are you emo? A round window. People pay extra for that, you know. You should foster me yourself. <laughs> you get paid and I'd be worth extra. Because I'm difficult and I've got behavioural problems. You'll probably get so much cash you could give up work and stay home all day eating chocolates. Oh, go on, we'd have a laugh. Going on journeys, having adventures. Just us, together. <laughs> Look out for you. We'd have a brilliant time. Yeah, I'm sure we would. But it's not really on now, is it? Sorry, kiddo. Mm -mm. No. I said no. You can kill all that right now. Like at this moment, stop. You didn't think I was serious, did you? Aren't you going to go see Tracy? She hasn't spoken to me since the day she left. Can't see why she want to do it now. Who's Tracy? Just some kid who used to live here. Louise, she was your best friend. She's not anymore. Room. I thought you said you were leaving forever. Ted and Julie only wanted me as a slave for their new baby, so I made them bring me back. Didn't they mind? They were gutted. I'm sorry, Tracy. We can't foster you anymore. I'm not budging. This is my room now. Back upstairs. No, I've tried giving that Tracy Beaker a good slap. Upstairs. Leave it, Justine. <laughs> Tracy, I don't think we've said a proper hello yet, have we? Shall we do it in my office? That's one of those grown up questions where the kid's not supposed to answer, right? Imagine how you'd feel if someone had broken something your mum had given you. <sighs> Ryan, you rock. Sally! Okay! <laughs> Tracy! 
Well, I apologise, didn't I? Enough to make grown men tremble three streets away. 